Good morning everyone, today we're walking to Jacob's Ladder but uh, apparently it's under reconstruction and by the looks of it, it won't open up soon either Seems like we'll have to revisit St. Helena next year again So yeah, we cannot show you much more than this, we won't be able to go up unfortunately However, just across the ladder there is something small to see as well These used to be the sewers from Jamestown, built in 1857. They're not used as sewers anymore. Um, now it's just carrying water from the nearby waterfalls. So as we cannot show Jacob's ladder, we'll continue our tour around Jamestown. You can see this cool freedom bus here. Uh, one of the fun things around St. Helena is that most of the cars, they are brought over by a ship and therefore they're quite old, so you can see some real vintage cars. The island also has a prison. It was built in 1826. It's still in use, however, I can't imagine many people living in it. And then across, you have a church, so you can make sure you don't end up in prison. Or to make sure you don't end up in hell. Uh, the church was built in 18th century and currently is one of the main attractions in Jamestown. Today is Sunday and there will be a service in the church and the parking is getting uh, fuller and fuller. So we took a walk to the castle of Jamestown which used to be the governor's uh, residence and office. Uh, there are stairs up the castle and you can walk on top of it and these are the entrance gates to the city of Jamestown. To explore the island we decided to rent a car and today is our first day. To rent a car in St. Helena you have to find a person 
who is ready to rent his extra car to you because there are no rental car companies. Ours is a Peugeot 206 and we rent it for 15 pounds a day. We came across this gigantic old tree on the side of the road and decided to stop and explore what's around it. And it's good that we did because look at this view. How beautiful is this? Our next stop is the Clifford Arboretum. This is more or less in the central part of the island. It's uh, extremely green. St. Helena has a very stunning nature. And uh, if you like walking in between the trees and the grass and have a nice peaceful walk, this is absolutely one of the places to go. So you can see a collection of different plants and trees here while walking in the stunning, beautifully green area of uh, St. Helena. As the weather is very beautiful, we tried to do one trail already today. This is the High Peak Trail, which is about half an hour uphill and then maybe 10 minutes down again. It should give a very beautiful view from the top. This is probably the easiest trail on the island. It is uphill, but it's very good steps and you get to see some really nice flowers on the way also. It is quite windy here and some days it's cloudy as well. So we're very lucky to have such a nice, beautiful sky today.
Look at this on the right side. Absolutely incredible views. We're so lucky with the weather as well today, even though it's a bit windy. The views are absolutely amazing. And this is more or less the top, I believe. We're ending this video with the beautiful views from High Peak. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and there will be more videos coming soon. Thank you.